In this video, I'm going to integrate using an old algebra skill, long division, which you may not have done in a while. So I just wanted to show you an example. So at first glance, when I see this integration, uh, you may try some u substitution. But if that doesn't work out, uh, you could try and factor these polynomials. But if those aren't coming out nicely, one thing to look for is when given a polynomial divided by a polynomial, so a rational function in here. If the degree of the numerator is higher than the degree of the denominator, long division may work out. It's a good time to try it, at least. So just a reminder of how long division works. The dividend, what's in the numerator, is being divided by the divisor, and we're looking for the quotient. So you write the divisor outside a little box, and then inside you put the dividend, what's in the numerator. Now this is division, so we need placeholders if anything is missing. Notice I don't have a linear term, so I am going to have to use a 0x to the first power. So inside I'm just recopying my numerator, using 0x as a placeholder. And then I'm going to just long divide. So this is uh, x squared times what would give me 2x to the third power, or you know, division. Okay, so x squared, I think, times a 2x to the first power. That would give me 2x cubed. Now I take that and I distribute, or I multiply by all of my divisor. So I have 2x cubed plus... 6x squared plus 8x. Now I need to go through and subtract all of those terms. So I'm going to minus all of those terms. This is the step that usually trips up some students as they forget to uh, subtract every term. These seem to cancel. Those seem to cancel. I'm left with a negative 8x and then we drop whatever is remaining, so this negative 12. And then we just repeat this process until it no longer fits or can go in there. For example, x squared will not give me an x to the first power. So what I have remaining down here is my remainder. So my quotient, or my answer here, is 2x plus my remainder. back over my divisor. So 2x plus the negative 8x minus 12 over x squared plus 3x plus 4. This quotient is just this division. So I can rewrite my integral. I'm going back to a black pen. This integration or this integral is equal to another integral but this time it's a sum instead of a division. I have the integral of 2x plus my remainder with respect to x. So now with integration, I think I can at least play around with it a little bit. Oh, I left off my x. Integration is a linear operator, so I can integrate these independently, or I can separate this out into two integrals. I'll go ahead and show that step. I could probably do some factoring there, but I'll do that in a second. Now this integral is nice and easy. That's just a power rule. Here I may have to do some fancy footwork. And maybe I can get u substitution to work. Because if I let u be this x squared, this whole trinomial, then du is going to be an x to the first power. I think that's going to work out. Let's see. If I let u be the entire denominator, x squared plus 3x plus 4, then du will be 2x plus 3 
dx. Now, let's see. I really need that 2x to jump up to a negative 8x. I could do this, uh, like I could have factored that out, but I think what I'll do here is I will just multiply everything in this little equation by negative 4. That should work out. Negative 4 du would be equal to a negative 8x minus 12. And that will allow me to do the u substitution. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and take care of this. This will be x now being raised to a second power. I multiply by the reciprocal out front. I still have the coefficient of 2 out front. I'm going to rewrite this integral in terms of u. So I think I'm going to have negative 4 du over u. Perfect. So this is just uh, u to the negative first, but that means I'm going to have a natural log. Two or half of two is just one, so I have x squared. Go ahead and pull that minus four out. The integral of one over u is the natural log of u. I've taken care of all the integrations, so I'll go ahead and put a constant out there. And then I'll just rewrite u in terms of x. So again, this strategy is when I was looking at the integration, at first glance, I wasn't sure what to do. But I did see a polynomial being divided by another polynomial, a rational expression. So when it's kind of that top heavy when there's more uh, going on upstairs so i've got a cubic to begin with over a quadratic there's a higher degree in the numerator than in the denominator that's a good um like clue that maybe long division would work out all right see you in the next video